Good morning. We are making our way out of Tengboche and we're heading to Dingboche today. Should be about seven miles and we climb to 4,440 meters of elevation. We actually started taking Diamox last night because we're getting higher and higher. We were feeling good, but we just felt, why take the risk? We'll take it as a preventative measure. So it doesn't jeopardize our trip. It doesn't guarantee that we won't get altitude sickness, but it does reduce the risk. So feeling good today, had some coffee, had a good breakfast and we're on our way. because we were on a completely flat path and now we're making our way uphill so stay tuned <laughs> there's some yaks coming so we will have to move to the side but honestly I don't mind because it means I can rest <laughs> safe to go Oh, no, no, it's not. There's more. More coming. More coming. Huh? More coming. Me too. What? More coming. Yeah. Longer rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, third time lucky. Okay, we're good. So we just come into Pangroche, which is where we'll be stopping for a little bit of tea, catch our breath. Me and Laura are both quite breathless. Laurie's being a little bit down on herself today, like she shouldn't be breathless when she's climbing up massive hills at altitude. But keep trying to reassure her that she's doing great, because she is doing great. So cute. So sweet. Ooh, how come we've got a tea break today? Yes. Love it. Oh, I feel better now I'm sitting. Like I said, I feel good. It's just that breath is us. But now that I'm sitting, I'm chilled. I've got Snickers. I've got lemon, honey, ginger, which I say in a different order every time I order it. But yeah, this looks good. What do you say then? Honey, lemon, ginger. Honey, lemon, ginger, ginger, lemon, honey. What's lemon, ginger, honey. Lemon, ginger, honey. I was trying to think of the combination. Yeah. Feeling much better after a tea break. Our next stop is Soma, where we're having lunch. And that will mean we break 4,000 meters of elevation for the first time this trip, and also the first time in our lives. Feeling good though. Feeling good. meters. <laughs> <laughs> we arrived for lunch, our highest lunch spot yet and it's good because we're still feeling hungry which apparently is a very good sign. So yeah, trying to already plan what I'm going to order. So 
it takes my mind off going uphill. The is so hungry. Yeah, it is. First time having yeah, yeah, ramen yeah. in the tea house. Oh, thank you. This is a non spicy one. Everyone else added loads of chili. Mm. That's good. Very fresh, and it's got loads of loads of veggies in. Mm. I had noodles, but they've been eaten since Laura's been waiting for her food. All right, back on the trail. Those noodles that I had are feeling very heavy in my stomach. Probably ate a little bit too much, but I'm conscious of being underfueled, so I eat as much as I can when I can. We're currently at 4,100 meters of elevation, and we're heading up to 4,000. 440 today. So this is day five and you can tell how well we've bonded as a group because I was absolutely desperate for the toilet but obviously now we're in the middle of nowhere so there's no real toilet spots and Milan said that we just need to find a big rock and some privacy and everyone in the group helped me find a good rock where I would be out of view to have my wee in peace so yeah <laughs> I think it's just so funny it just made me laugh so much but I think it's just so nice that we've all bonded together everyone really cares about each other we're always checking up on each other taking photos eating dinner together so yeah very thankful for everyone on this trip it's going great Feeling good? Feeling very good. Surprising myself again. Yes, go girl. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so we're at 4,267 meters of elevation, which means we've got about 200 to go, I think. I'm not sure. If it goes up and down so much, I lose track of what we should be doing. I think we've got about 200 to go. Milan said this day might get quite windy at some point. <laughs> and he wasn't lying. Also the clouds have properly come in now. So it's getting a little bit cooler, which actually is really nice and refreshing. And just in the distance, I think, is our home for the night, which is Dingboche. Hopefully this is it. Can you see in the cloud? I'll let my blurred finger show you where we're going. So yeah, almost there. No, I'm joking. I think it's literally because it's flat. That's why I feel that I've got my stride. Oh, shut up. Huh? Feeling good? You put yourself down. Just oh. accept that today you've done well. I know. Look, this is big for me. I'm always like the first to think that I'm not going to be able to do it or I don't know that I was going to struggle. I've always had in my mind that I'm going to get to base camp without a doubt, like no matter what, but I think the actual doing of it is, um, you know, so far it's been challenging, but I think it's challenges that have helped me grow physically, mentally, and so far, best thing I've ever done. That looks like a peaceful lodge. <laughs> okay, we're here. Oops. I don't know who our neighbour is. Come on, toilet. I do share a toilet. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, but it's right there, so that's good. Nice. 
Oh. Destroying the tea can. Watch your head. Oh yeah. Ooh. Nice. Cozy. It is cozy. It feels quite warm in here. I don't know whether having carpet just makes a difference, mm -hmm. maybe. Oh, quite quite content with this. Ooh, bit of a cold shiver. Feels quite nice and thick. What we've got out here. Uh, vegetable patch. So yeah, not too bad. Nice and cosy. What's the plan for oh. this? Oh my god! <laughs> Whack my head on the light bulb. <laughs> okay. What's, what's the, the plan? plan? Um, have a Nepalese shower, which is a wet wipe shower. Yeah. And get in some nice cosy clothes and have a chill for a bit, and then go to lunch and play some cards and yeah, you know, it's been a good day. So. Yeah. Feeling pretty content. Yeah, very much so. Feeling really good. Just on our oxygen saturations, which actually yeah. for four thousand four hundred meters are sitting really good. Like ninety one, ninety two. Yeah. Heart rate's like a little bit higher than what it is normally, but that's normal because your body's working harder to get the oxygen to uh, to yeah. where it wants. I think, so yeah, yeah, I think uh, we're happy with that, but especially because we're like medical as well and we sort of know what the numbers yeah. mean it actually is really reassuring that our bodies are keeping up with everything so i think it's easy to overthink the sats but it's still nice when they're good so yeah that's the plan for this evening yeah feeling both pretty happy with today so really good yeah another good day tomorrow i hope acclimatization day tomorrow yes acclimatization day tomorrow big day um, so that should push us a little bit more Help us prepare for the next few days on yeah. the lead up to Everest Base Camp, which is getting closer and closer and closer. Mm -hmm. Anyway, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.